And there I was. I was the girl from Suits. This one's wife, the online safety hypocrites. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I mentioned in an earlier video the fact that this one's wife, showing her usual ghoul-like behaviours, has leached off the misery and grief of others as a consequence of the recent hearing in the US Senate relating to online safety. People.com has picked up on this and has stated, This one's wife and Prince Harry share emotional message after Senate child safety hearing. This one's wife and Prince Harry are expressing their support following the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee's hearing on online safety for children on Wednesday. We applaud the bravery and determination of the thousands of parents around the country whose advocacy resulted in this hearing, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said in a statement published on the Archwell Foundation's website on Wednesday. The Archwell Foundation has been working with families to provide a support network for parents dealing with grief or who have children managing serious mental health conditions as a result of their exposure to harmful online content, the Foundation noted. Over the past few years, we've spent time with many of these families, listening to their heartache and their hopes for the urgent change that is needed in the online space. Harry and this one's wife's statement continued, This is an issue that transcends division and party lines, as we saw today at the Senate hearing. The best parenting in the world cannot keep children safe from these platforms. Prince Harry, 39, and this one's wife, <coughs> 42, said. This one's wife and Prince Harry have spent years working together with the relatives and loved ones of victims and used their feedback to present suggestions to political leaders on how a positive change could be made. Their statement ended with a quote from a father whose child had been impacted by the harmful effects of social media. If love could have saved them, all of our children would still be here. This is not the time to pass the book of responsibility. It is the time to make necessary change at the source to keep our children safe. Their statement followed a congressional hearing on social media, during which Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Snapchat CEO Evan Spiegel were among those whom senators called out for the impacts their platforms have on the general public, especially young and impressionable people. Parents of children who have suffered or died due to harmful online content or pressures are also in attendance at the hearing. During Wednesday's Big Tech and the Online Child Sexual Exploitation Crisis hearing, Zuckerberg, 39, apologised after being told about the large number of female minors who had been exposed to nudity on apps that he oversees. I'm sorry for everything you've all gone through, he said while facing the crowd. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have suffered. He added, This is why we have invested so much, and we are going to continue doing industry-wide efforts to make sure no one has to go through the things your families have had to suffer. Spiegel, 33, apologised as well. This one's wife and Harry previously addressed the challenges of parenting and social media at a World Mental Health Day event in New York in October, bringing up the past. The Suits Alum, in case you've forgotten that she was on that show, stated that after hearing some families speak, it was impossible not to be in tears hearing their stories because it's just that devastating. Social media isn't going away, this one's wife added sagely, telling us something that we hadn't even thought of ourselves. Thus, as I've explained, this one's wife is utilising the issue of online child safety as a means to make herself look good, to control people and to draw fuel. But what it also does is throw into stark relief the hypocrisy of this woman and her husband. That they preach to people about online child safety, about behaviour in the online environment. Yet, first of all, they are quick to jump on this Senate hearing because it's newsworthy. But where has there been a statement about what has been happening with Africa Parks? Where has been a response from Harry and this one's wife to protecting those people who've been sexually assaulted, who have been beaten, who have been held against their will? There's been nothing but silence. Do they not matter? It's an organisation that... Harry is associated with. He's on the board. So it's not like we're expecting to comment upon another tragedy in the world that directly has nothing to do with them. Harry has an involvement. 
And yet there is silence, which shows the hypocrisy of these two as they pick and choose the things that they wish to talk about. Africa Parks isn't glamorous. Africa Parks is an inconvenient truth and therefore is brushed over and not spoken about. Online child safety, much more glamorous, more in keeping with the image that this one's wife wishes to portray of mother to the world. But also, there is, of course, a more sinister reason why this is of importance to her. It is the online environment where this one's wife faces most of her critics. Online editions of newspapers and magazines, blogs, videos, social media commentary, repeatedly a mass of evidence that is critical about her. She, under the auspices of protecting children, wants to be able to bring about controls in the online environment so that she can nullify the threat that is posed by those that criticise her. Under the pretense of caring about children, we know because as a narcissist she doesn't actually care because she has no emotional empathy, she wants to ensure that powers are enacted that she could then utilise to silence people to prevent the criticisms that flow about her. Furthermore, her hypocrisy appears once again. This is a woman who has the supporters known as the Sussex Squad or the Sugars, a vile group of thick as mince individuals who get their kicks issuing vile proclamations about King Charles and Camilla and particularly Prince William and the Princess of Wales, Catherine. They delight in propagating nasty rumours, issuing unpleasant comments, and at the same time, demonstrating what dunderheads they are, bleating about how this one's wife should be left alone, before then engaging in the very behaviour they criticise others for doing. And yet, whilst there are so many instances of this unpleasant online behaviour being undertaken by her supporters, where is her condemnation of this? There is none. Indeed, it goes further for the, those that suggest that she actually encourages this behaviour because it's pro-her and anti-nemesis. That even has been suggested that she has financed certain of these individuals to engage in this behaviour. The fact that she remains silent about the disgusting behaviour of the Sussex squad whilst bleating about online safety demonstrates her hypocrisy and that she and ginger bollocks are only interested in preserving their own reputations and don't give a rat's ass about anybody else. Once again, her scurrying to jump on a bandwagon enables us to highlight the transparency and superficiality of this action as a narcissist and also her rank hypocrisy. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.